Good morning, everybody. Let's pray. We glorify you, God. You are majestic and your voice is powerful. Whatever circumstances we find ourselves in, we can always be sure that you're in control. You are our refuge and our fortress. In you we trust. We come into your presence unworthy because of our sin. We ask you to forgive those sins by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, who was shed for us. Thank you for what you've done for us. Thank you for all our blessings, Lord. Amidst the pain and suffering, you give us joy. You give us hope for a life eternal where there is no suffering, no tears. We ask for healing for our community, our country, our continent and the world. Help us to be there for others in their time of need. We declare your word and your power against the enemy who comes to steal, kill and destroy. Thank you that we don't need to be afraid because you are our God and you promised that you will always be with us. We pray all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1. As dead flies give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honour. What does reference to a dead fly mean and what does this have to do with wisdom? Let's hear what John Jorgensen's got to say in his video. Hey songbirds and long words, super califragilistic expiala. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Today we are focusing on one verse, just one verse. Can you handle it? Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1 says, As dead flies give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. You ever hang out with a group of friends? No? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> different example. Have you ever been in school when the teacher all of a sudden decided to make a new rule in class? Maybe everyone used to be able to go to the bathroom whenever they wanted, but there was one kid who decided to abuse that privilege and use it as a way to basically skip every class. I'm not saying it was me, I'm just, there are kids like that. But of course the teacher would quickly catch on to that person's game and then institute a new rule that only one person could go to the bathroom at a time. And of course, you had to ask permission first. Oh, the humanity. And so because one kid messed up, it spoils everything. That whole idea is part of what this verse is talking about here. This verse speaks of this lovely perfume and how just one dead fly can ruin the whole thing. One bad apple can ruin the whole batch. One bad egg can ruin the whole carton. I don't actually know if those last two examples are really true, but just go with me here. And when the writer says a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor, he's not saying that folly is better or even more powerful than wisdom, but rather Solomon is actually continuing on with something that he began at the end of chapter nine, where he says one sinner destroys much good. What he's saying here is that you can have so much good in your life and you can ruin it all with a single moment of foolishness. One moment of poor judgment. One moment of giving in to temptation. A single moment of stupidity can ruin your marriage. It can ruin your friendship. It can ruin your chance at a scholarship. And of course, we see this type of thing happening to people all throughout scripture. We see people like Esau, in a moment of hunger, give up his birthright for a bowl of stew. We see David, in a single moment of lust, begin a relationship that would tear multiple families apart. At the very beginning of scripture, Adam and Eve gave in to temptation for just a moment, and yet that one moment introduced sin and death into the world. That was a big one. British scholar Derek Kidner says this. He says, there are endless instances of prizes forfeited and good beginnings marred in a single reckless moment. So for us, for you and me in our journey, this is something we have to be aware of because in the moment of lust or greed or whatever your temptation is, in that moment, the temptation promises that 
It's not gonna be a big deal, doesn't it? Just cheat on this one test. Just go to that one party. Just hang out with this girl. It's not a big deal. Foolishness will constantly lie to us, telling us that nothing bad is gonna happen. But wisdom knows that a single moment of foolishness can have massive consequences. And true wisdom is being able to look past the temptation, seeing the lies for what they are, and instead keeping on the path that God desires for our lives. So may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And may you all be blessed until Jesus our King returns in glory, whenever that may be. Amen.